Hello everyone. Now we will start with our first modulization technique. And our first modulization technique is include programs. And many times we will simply, simply use the word includes. Yes, it is a modulization technique which helps us to organize our code into smaller units which helps us to divide our code into smaller units. Now, you can create a include program through SC38 transaction code only. So far, we created the executable programs through SC38. Now, same way, we will create the include programs through SC38 transaction code only and we all know SC38 is the transaction code for a BAP editor. Now the type of include programs is II. If you remember when we covered the executable programs, the type of executable program is one. And the type of include program is I. Whenever we will start with the practical part, I will show you the type of include program that how the type of include program is I, how we can check the type of include program. Now, we cannot execute a include program. This is one of the most important point. You can never, never execute a include program. You can only, only use include program into other types of program. Most, most important part. We can never, never execute a include program we can only use the include program into other types of program. Other types means as of now, we know executable program. So we will use the include program into executable program. In the future, we have module pool program also. So you can use the include program into other types of program but you can never, never execute a include program. And one of the most, most important use of modulization technique include program is we can use include program for the data declarations of the program. So whenever you have the data declarations, Always, always make a practice that you will use the modulization technique include program for the data declaration. And project always, always ask you to use the modulization technique include program for the data declaration part of the program. This is one of the widely used, widely used, I'll say one of the most important use of include program. Now, now just now few minutes back, we discussed that we will use the include program into other types of program. So what is the syntax to use a include program into other types of program? The keyword is include. Firstly, we will use the keyword include. And suppose after that, we need to give the include program name. Suppose simple example. Suppose if my include program is Z data, how I can use in any other program? Simple, I need to use the keyword include and name of the include program Z data. Suppose simple example. If I have a executable program. Suppose my executable program is Z1. This is my executable program. And my include program is 
इंक्लूड प्रोग्राम इज सपोज जेड टेस्ट हाउ आई विल यूज दिस इंक्लूड प्रोग्राम इन टू दिस एग्जीक्यूटेबल प्रोग्राम आई विल सिंपली सिंपली राइट द वर्ड इंक्लूड इन टू दिस एग्जीक्यूटेबल प्रोग्राम इंक्लूड जेड टेस्ट दिस स्टेटमेंट आई विल राइट इन टू दिस एग्जीक्यूटेबल प्रोग्राम सो दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कैन यूज द इंक्लूड प्रोग्राम इन टू एग्जीक्यूटेबल प्रोग्राम और वी कैन गो फॉर अदर टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोग्राम ऑल्सो same to same syntax you need to follow include and name of the include program whenever practical will start it will give you more more clarity now we will start with a practical part so what is our requirement this is the executable program which we created in this executable program we have all the data declarations of order header table order item table we have a input of order number we have the queries loop statements and finally we have the output just now we discussed the most most important use of include program is for the data declaration data declaration so what we will do this all data declaration as of now we have written all this data declaration in a continuous manner this is not a part of include program it is not a part of modularization technique include program so for this data declaration we will create the modularization technique include program and widely widely project always ask you to go for modularization technique include program for the data declaration part so we will go for sc38 transaction code because we know we will create a include program through sc38 transaction code only i will give some name to the include program suppose i am saying z data declaration for order i am creating a include program for the data declaration part i will go for create i will give some title to the program suppose i am saying data declaration for order details now we will create which type of program now include program we will create i will choose the type as include program now just when we cover the theory part i told you that type of include program is i i so if someone ask you how you came to know that the type of include program is i so just do f1 here function plus f1 on type we all know sap provided a f1 help which is called as technical information help you can go to technical help technical information this is data element data element has a domain we will go for value range because we all know domain is all about value range also now you can see one stands for what executable program i stands for what include program but m stands for module pool program these all values you are able to see there executable program include program module pool program so from where these values are coming these values are coming from the domain itself so if someone ask you how you came to know that type of include program is i or executable program is one so this is the way to check you can check through technical information now i will simply simply go for save 
and I will save this include program as a local object. Now, what I will do, this is our all data declaration. This is our all data declaration. I will cut this data declaration and I will put into this include program. So all this data declaration is the part of this include program, or you can understand in a way also, we created a include program for the data declaration part. So now what is the summary of the video up to this level? In this video, we started with first modularization technique that is include program. Yes. With the help of include program, you can divide the logic into small, small unit. You can create include program through SC38 transaction code only. Type of include program is I. Just now we check the type of include program is I. How we can check? We cannot execute a include program we can only use into other type of program. And one of the most important use of include program is for the data declaration part. And how you can use into other programs include name of the include program. We took the requirement and based upon our requirement, we created one include program in which we have the data declaration. In the next video, we will learn how to use this include program into our executable program. We need to use into this executable program. So few more points of the include program we will cover in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.